God, who long ago spoke on many occasions and in many ways to our forefathers by means of the prophets, has at the end of these days spoken to us by means of a son whom he appointed heir of all things and through whom he made the system of things. Has at the end of these days spoken to us by means of his son whom he appointed heir of all things and through whom he made the system of things. He is the reflection of his glory and the exact representation of his being, very being, his very being, and he sustains all things by the word of his power and after he he had made a pur purification of our sins. He sat down on the right hand of the, of the majesty in lofty places. So he had become better than... So he has become better than the angels. To the extent that he has inherited a name more excellent than... For example, to which one of the angels did he ever say, You are my son, I today I have become your father. And again I myself shall become his father and he himself will be... But when he again brings his firstborn into the inhabited earth, he says, and let all God's angels do obeisance. Also, with reference to the angels, he says, and he makes his angels spirits and his public servants a flame. But with reference to the Son, God is your throne forever um, and ever, and the scepter of your kingdom and is the scepter of righteousness. You loved righteousness and you hated lawlessness. That is why God, your God, anointed you with the oil of exaltus more than your partners. And you at the beginning, O Lord, laid the foundations of the earth itself, and the heavens are the works of your Um. Um. Well, verse 10, And you at the beginning, O Lord, laid the foundations of the earth itself, and the heavens the works of your hands. How could an angel um, lay the foundations of the earth and uh, create the heavens? When only God can do that, or according to verse 10, Lord, um, uh, in the, uh, the uh, Hebrews chapter 1 is talking about Jesus, so Jesus laid the foundations of the earth in the heavens of the work of his hand. How could um, Jesus lay the foundations of the earth in the heavens of the work of uh, um, your hands, his hands, if he was just Michael the archangel? But, because it, um, it says, that he laid the foundations, uh, you at the beginning of the Lord laid the foundations of the earth itself and the heavens of the works of your hands. Since Hebrews chapter 1 is, uh, taken in context, it's talking about Jesus, so it must be talking about it. Anyways, anyways, they themselves will perish, but you yourselves are to remain, you yourself are to remain continuously, and just like an old outer garment, they will all grow. And you will wrap them up just as a cloak, as an outer garment, and they will be changed, but you as, are the same, and your years will never run out. But with reference to which one of the angels has he ever said, Sit at my right hand until I place your enemies as a stool for your feet. Are they not all spirits for public service sent forth to minister for those who go and inherit salvation? I'm just saying that um, Hebrews chapter 1 makes it sound a, a lot like they're making Jesus sound a lot better than just an angel. But please leave your comments. Thanks.